Welcome back. Now, mired in a corruption scandal, FIFA, football's world governing body, has postponed the bidding process for the 2026 Football World Cup. While reaction to the scandal was swift, with some people talking not only about FIFA's alleged misdeeds, but the U.S. role in exposing it. Viewers Philip Alexio has more. When the U.S. criminally indicted some top FIFA executives, it was welcomed by many in Europe and around the world, according to British football writer Keir Radnage, who spoke to VOA via Skype. I think most people, certainly uh, if you look at the, the U.K. media over the last five, seven years, then this has been a long time in coming, and, and there was an element and a feeling of frustration that uh, things hadn't worked quicker and people hadn't been caught out sooner. I mean, I mean part of the problem, of course, lay with... FIFA's own uh, very, very lax governance systems. The corruption scandal led to the resignation of FIFA President Sepp Blatter less than a week after he had won re-election. David Larkin is a U.S. sports lawyer. He says FIFA's operations have not been transparent. So where we are now, I think, is an organization, and I think it's important to kind of structure it around this debate around what is FIFA. Uh, I would argue that it's basically 25 people uh, plus or minus people co-opted onto it, that are basically operate in secret and have no accountability. The indictments unveiled last month paint a picture of corruption and bribery at the Swiss-based organization that runs the World Cup and other major tournaments. David Francis, a writer at Foreign Policy magazine, describes his view of the objectives of the U.S. investigation. You get the small fish, you get the small fish to talk, it gives you the bigger fish, and that's what we saw over the last couple of weeks. Now. It, what really prompted the U.S.? I, I highly doubt it was, you know, going after the World Cup because it probably isn't going to get it in 2022 no matter what happens. But I, it appears as if this has been a really long time coming and uh, they have their targets on the prize up ladder. Though some might disagree, David Larkin said until now FIFA's public image was one of purity and autonomy, but it's an image shattered by the U.S. corruption charges. Keir Radnage, though, points out that FIFA still has hundreds of well-meaning employees using football for youth development, health, and education. The work they do is tainted by these guys, you know, who've had their little money-making clique at the top. The host for the 2026 World Cup was to be chosen by FIFA members during its 2017 Congress in Malaysia, but FIFA said it would delay that decision. Philip Alexio, VOA News.